Hi, Michelle Crafty Servings. On Sunday night, a little bit later, not too bad. Uh, we're gonna do a rustic summer craft. Um, a summer, spring, some could year, leave it out year long, but we're gonna use this cute Dollar Tree mirror. So you wanna see yourself? There we go. So we're gonna use that Dollar Tree mirror. We're gonna make this into a really cute rustic kind of craft. So make sure you say hi, let me know you're out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away because we're gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. Hi Paula, hello Kendra. So we're also gonna use, I have these wood boards here. They were from, um, just like a you know one of those not an antique shop but like the stores at like a vendor kind of place and they had packs of these not too bad of a price so i'm going to use three of them so i'm going to go ahead and glue them together so that at least that started and then we'll put that aside and we'll start on the sunflower hi sherry well i'm glad you caught me live too hello debbie hello kathy all right, Peggy, you're not late. I'm just starting. That's awesome. Hello. Hello, Kathy. So these boards, again, I'm just going to glue them together because I want, I want, this is going to be the base for what we're making. And then I've got some shims that we're going to just glue on the back. I'm just using some of this Gorilla Wood Glue. Just a little bit to glue that together. I actually should look at which I like is the front and which I like is the back. We're going to use this as the back. Hi, Debbie. Thank you. I missed you all too. Hello, Christine. I really did miss you guys. Hi, Sherry. Um, my sale went okay. I have a lot of crafts left. The rummage did pretty good. That's what you get when you do a rummage sale in with like village wide rummage sales. They're not the same as a craft sale. So it did okay though. I, I, I did okay. So I have a lot left though. I reopened my Etsy shop, but I have a lot that aren't in there and I have to figure out the best way to actually get them out. Thank you, Sharon. I am happy to be back. Hello, Carla. So these are just shims. I've, these are painted on a different. I used them for something. They don't have to be painted. I'm just going to glue them on the back. If you want, you can definitely um, staple them or nail them. I have my nail gun out. I decided not to use it. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in a couple places too. I should have done that in between. But I'm using the um, Gorilla Wood Glue, which works really, really awesome. So this, it works awesome. It's pretty quick setup. Thank you, Christine, for passing me on. I appreciate it. Hello, let's see, Shanna, hello. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some of this, put some of this wood glue in here too. And I'm just getting this so that it's all set up so that when I'm done with our Dollar Tree mirror, this is going to be what our backdrop is. I finally was able to get on and I was on my phone. Janice, hello, how are you doing? Well, I'm glad you were able to get on. I hope your husband is doing better and that you're doing better. Hello, Roxanne. All right. And the hot glue is like a quick fix. Honestly, this Gorilla Glue is really a pretty quick fix too, but, um, all right, and I'm just going to shift this over. See how quick that is to set up? That's going to be the backdrop for the rustic look that I'm making with the mirror. We are done putting that together. 
All right, so if you didn't see, I used the Gorilla Wood Glue. It works so actually really quick and easy. Um, on the shims, I did use a little bit of other hot glue just to get a quick stick, but this actually works really pretty quickly and it's a really good stick. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're, we're decorating up this mirror to make it rustic and then we're gonna add a little something with it to put on there. Well, I'm glad you caught me live too, Kim. All right, I don't have my newspaper out, so we're just going to do it on here. Now we're going to do a couple, we're doing a sunflower craft, all right? But you could do this any color at all, all right? It does not have to be a sunflower color, but I want to make this look like a rustic sunflower, all right? And, and can I tell you where I got my inspiration from for this? From my rummage sale because I had one of these out in a bin, like a bunch, uh, like several bins out for a quarter. And somebody picked it out and said they were gonna do a flower with it. And I'm like, I didn't see this. So I had to go to the Dollar Tree and get one because I had it in my head then. And so that's that was my inspiration. It's It totally was somebody saying that they were gonna make a flower from it. So, all right, I'm using the Waverly Maze. I love this color. And you don't have to have a perfect coverage, but I do want to get, it's gonna take a little bit, but I do, I'm getting so far down in here. I do also want to get in between the grooves there. And I'm gonna get several of those grooves. Well, I'm glad you caught me live too. I missed your name. I'm sorry. Okay, so it doesn't, the back you're not going to see at all. So it doesn't matter what that looks like, but you do want to get these sides painted up. And it honestly does not need to be perfect. I'm only going to do one coat in between each one. And I am going to give a second coat, though, on the top of them. It would help if I had more paint in here. But I'll be able to chat while we're painting now. Hi, Dolores. Oh, I miss them. Hello, Sharon. How are you? All right. And again, just get in between each one. This is not going to be a perfect pink coat, but it doesn't have to be. That's why I love rustic is because it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're adding a few layers on top of here of color. Actually, a couple more colors on top of here, which I think is going to make it look really, really cute. And it'll be easiest if you just go around and get all this outside and you can always add in as you're going it whatever way works easiest for you just want to get in between did that pretty good if i scratch my nose i know peggy and you know why is because i cut burlap before i came on i because i need burlap for we're, we're using burlap on here too so i cut burlap and i'm itchy again so that's what you're going to get from me <laughs> is I itch. I itch when I use burlap and jute. Sharon, thank you for the stars. I appreciate it. It's been so long since I've been on with all of you. I can't tell you. I've missed you. I'm hoping I can get a live in tomorrow. If I do, it'll be later in the day. Um, I'm going to work some again tomorrow. Um, I'm just really behind there. So I'm going to work some from home though, but for my work. And I have a dentist appointment. And after that, I got to ship out some crafts. And then I'm hoping I'll get to a live. So, all right, again, just make sure it does not have to be perfect. Just make sure you're getting 
all the way around. You're going to get paint on you. If you don't like that, use gloves. Well, I'm seeing you too, Christine. Is there anything you had? I did, Kim. I did handle. Well, it wasn't you. Well, actually, I did handle you too. But um, I, yeah, I cut burlap before I came on. And you'll see, we're going to use burlap on here. So I thought I would just get it cut just to prep a little bit because this takes a little bit to do. Life does happen, Mary. It really does. And I, this is, wow, I love, love, love this. This is my calm. I tell you all that all the time. Sometimes some things um, need to come ahead of it, which that's not always going to be. <laughs> I, I want to do more. I would love to do this full time, but as of right now, I can't. So other things, other things happen. And family is always number one to me. So that was also a lot. So May is a new month. I'm hoping to be back on a lot. Hello, Dana. All right. And just see how nice it paints up with this chalk paint. You get this at, oh my God, I missed some places. Said you're going to get paint on you. <laughs> I did not do very good at all <laughs> on these edges. I'm going to see some as I go around. Am I missing any on there? Well, it's pretty good. We are giving it a second coat. All right. And again, it does not have to be perfect. And because we're giving a second coat, you don't need to do, uh, you know, don't do a thick coat on. We're going to dry it so it won't take long. Thanks for all the hearts. I appreciate it. I've got over 200 people on me on my page right now watching me. That's craziness. I will do two random act of kindness drawings at the end. So stick on, make sure you're commenting. Please pass me on. I appreciate it. That helps pass the word, especially, you know, when I haven't been on very much. I was really afraid that a lot of you wouldn't get to see me. So I, I'm happy. <laughs> Already tell you are you going <laughs> you're going to Dollar Tree. I think several of you are gonna go to Dollar Tree. If you like this rustic, and you know, you don't have to do this rustic either. Mine is gonna be really rustic looking, but you don't have to. Alright, I'm just drying this all up. Isn't that cute? So it is gonna be a sunflower when we're done. Or I think it'll look like a sunflower. Um, but just, just make it whatever color you like. This, this would be so cute, any color, and you really don't have to do it rustic. You just paint it a little nicer and use a different surface to put it on. Hello, Renee. Oh, thank you, Paula. I really appreciate that. Thank you, John. I'm so glad to be back. Hello, Ellen. And we want this good and dry before we put on a second coat, just so it doesn't smear around. Got that itch going on. You are so sweet tonight. Because you love my banner. Aw, thank you. That banner is going to probably go in my Etsy shop, too. I had it up for about a month now after I made it on that live. So it's time. I had a couple other ones that were out too, but um, I should get, oh, it, this gets hot. So be very careful. <laughs> really, really hot. Like in the mirror area, <laughs> it's toasting my finger right now. Now I'm not doing in between here. Aw, Paula, thank you. I missed a couple spots, I know. 
I know. And again, this is going to be rustic. So seeing that on there and, you know, I'm adding a couple other layers of paint that you're not, it's not going to be a bad thing if you miss some spots. All right. But I'm not doing in between twice. I'm only doing these edges twice. Wow, this mirror get hot. Be, so be careful. Use a hair dryer if nothing else. Oh, Carla, I'm missing you too. Peggy, thank you for the stars. I appreciate it. Hello, Connie. I'm just trying to get a paint on here. There we go. I have to look at what I'm doing. My paint is getting down there. I'm going to need another jar pretty soon of that. Oh, I see a big spot I missed. I see really big spots I missed. That's all right. One coat will do on them. Whoever told me that before, you were right. Those were really big spots. But this will be good. A little bit farther to go. Hello, Judy. Thanks, Joyce. Like I said, we're adding more color to it than just this. So we're going to try and make it look like a real rustic looking sunflower. And I think I can pull that off. We're going to sure do our best. And I'm going to try and do it without getting paint on me. All right, so I did all the edges again. I did a lot better that time. And if some of them don't have on, it's okay. All right, so now we're just going to, and again, I'm <laughs> still full of paint. We're just gonna put another layer on top of here, dry it up, and then we're gonna add our next color. If you're coming on late, this is a Dollar Tree mirror that I started with. And we're just painting it up. I'm using the Maze, um, there we go, Waverly Maze. You can get this for sure at Walmarts usually. I don't know if yours has it, but mine still does. Some people say they can't get it all the time anymore. Maybe I should scoop some up, huh? just in case. And it doesn't need to look perfect. It does not. That's what rustic is about. Thank you, Renee. I think it's going to be really cute when it's done. I said, we're going, we're going for a sunflower. And if, if you're hopping on late, I said my inspiration was actually from my rummage sale where I had one of these for sale and somebody told me they were going to do a flower with them. I never saw it until she said it. So I had to get back to the Dollar Tree <laughs> to get more. They always have them there. So I lost money on it because <laughs> I was selling them for a quarter. All right, last little section here and we'll dry it up and we'll go on with the next color. Yours still has it? Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know if I at first had heard that Waverly was going away, but I don't know that I believe that. That was a long time ago. And they have such pretty colors. I love the colors. Just a little spot here yet, and then we're going to dry. Okay, I think we're good. this okay I am gonna put because I need just a just a real little bit um, after I'm just gonna put just a little dab on my palette here look how thick that is can you see how thick that was that was way more than what I need but okay I'm gonna set it up there thanks for the hearts again you all are so nice
And this paint always dries really nice and fast. And you honestly could use um, a hair dryer. It wouldn't get as hot probably. But I really want it nice and dry for the next step. And the next step is going to make it look a little more like a sunflower. And I think the final one will do it. So, or at least I think it looks like it. All right, Renee, you're going to paint yours. You know, and the thinner the layer is probably the better. If you don't want it to look rustic, do nice, real nice thin layers and take your time and dry it in between. They use whatever colors you want. Yeah, Peggy, I love the Waverly colors. Yeah, I do definitely want to get back at least to get one of these. I, mean, I think I can, I don't know, I'm guessing I can add just a little bit of water to it because it is getting so thick. All right, almost dry. on to the next and I don't care so much about the sides right now because I'm just going to do the next layer on the top hello Ann hello Dana Dana thank you for passing me on and Ann for passing me on right Kim I think it's going to look like the perfect sunflower all right, almost. it just is a little thick over on that top part here where I'm going. I had it a little thick, so I need to. All right. I think I'm good enough. I don't want to melt it. All right, so. Actually, didn't get as hot this time as it did the last time. All right, that's the start of it. Should put this thing up. All right, next color we're gonna use any brown will do. I'm gonna use dark chocolate, and this is where I'm gonna get a little bit of the shaping of the flower of a sunflower. And I'm going to use just a scruffy brush for this. And the next one, I'm going to even use even more of a scruffy brush for the next color. Oh, Kathy, that would be perfect. All right, so all I'm going to do now, if you look at this, I don't want to get the paint on again. I'm going to be using every other one. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start in the middle of one and then this will be the point and it'll go down to the middle of the next one. So I'm going to have every one is going to be a point that I'm going to be using and the middle of the one before it and after it is where that's what I'm doing with the brush. And all I'm doing is getting some of that paint down and just a scruffy. Again, this is going to be rustic. Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle and drag it out to the front and I'm going to start in the middle of this one and drag it out. Okay, see how I did that? Now it's going to look different when this is done. Trust me, it will look different. Um, okay, now I want again bring it out. So every other one, that's actually looking cute already, right? That actually is pretty cute. But I'm gonna add, I'm gonna also add some black, and I'll tell you that as I think the black is really gonna bring it out. So maybe it's not gonna be perfect sunflower, but okay. see how that is. So we're doing every other one, 
and just starting in the middle point of each one. And that's bringing out that shape. And I hope it comes out at the end. I should have counted them, right? It will. All right. So that's the first shape. Isn't that, that's already turning out really cute. But I think I'm going to add black on mine. So this, honestly, that's cute. But I'm going to add black because you'll see. I've got other my other decorating that I'm going to do with it. Um, will really, I want black to pull it in. All right. So make it whatever colors you want. Aw, oh, Kim, I don't think I'm talented. I just like crafting. I love crafting. Thank you, Anne. I mean, this honestly is just really cute already. Okay, but now we're going to pull in the black because let me tell you, I'm going to be also using this fabric as part of a backdrop. And that's why I want to pull that black in with it. And I think that looks country and rustic. And that's why I'm pulling black into it. If you like it this color, just leave it like this. All right. So let me, so I'm just going to use a scruffy brush again. And I'm going to use lamp black. So deco art lamp black. Any black will do. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Paula. All right. I forget this one is broke so I need to pour it all the time all right so this one I'm gonna do the same thing the brown is only there just to add a little extra color behind all right this black and using the scruffier brush I'm gonna get a lot of that off And I'm just adding that little bit of black in there. And then we're going to add some to the outside also. I'm doing the same pattern as before. But I think with the fabric, I needed to do this brown with, or the black with it. Again, it was just every other one and starting in the middle point of the one next to it. I think. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same, uh, not the same, but I'm using the same brush, scruffy brush, and I'm just going to do a little bit on the edges of that. Let's see, where is it on here? <laughs> over on that side. You see that? I'm just going to add that little bit. Hello Meg from New Jersey. All right, so we're just going to do that little bit on each edge here. And that just brings in that outer color. Adds a little something to those outer leaves or petals I should say. Okay, I think I'm already all the way around. Okay, see that? So hold it back some. So with the brown, it probably looked a little more like sunflower. But now let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to keep this brush out because now this is where I said I was itching before because I cut burlap. I cut a circle burlap that's going to fit in here. You could do so many things with this. Now, I also had a buffalo plaid one that I thought would be cute, but I'm actually going to paint this whole thing. Um, we're going to add hot glue in here, and we're going to paint it. So if you have already have black, you could just use that. Be very careful um, so you don't get burned. Okay, I have to let that dry a second because I don't want to get the paint right on the wet glue. 
Thank you, Lonnie. Thanks, Kim. All right, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a lot of paint on that though. It's gonna be completely covered. I want that all covered. And get right up to the edges, onto that mirror. I say, if you have black burlap, go ahead and use that. And the reason why I'm using burlap on here is because I like the texture of it. It just seems to add a little something to it to me, for me. I just, I love the extra texture that it creates. I mean, you, there's other things you could probably use also. Get that covered good. You could put one of your new that you made a while back. One of your new uh, family homers watching this new. Oh, Ruthie. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by one of your new. I'm missing that. I want this really, I'm really going to saturate it really good. I don't necessarily need that mirror part. Okay. Center. Now we're going to add a little color to that. I just want it a little bit dry. These are the hearts. Yeah, I think the burlap adds just that texture that you need. The burlap, it makes it look like the middle of a sunflower. See, I think so too. And we're going to add just a little bit of color on here now. Oh, one of the bees. You know what? And I actually took some off of one that I actually got rid of, one from last year. I actually just put out in the garbage <laughs> and I took the bees off because I like the bees. That would be really cute on here, right? I don't even have a button now. Dang. Okay, so to, to just dry that up a little bit. Now I'm going to add just a, now I kept that yellow out and I've got a little bit of, this is spiced pumpkin. We're only going to add a couple dots of that. You don't need much at all of either one really. All right, I'm just going to use the back of a paintbrush again. So I've got a little bit bigger one here and I'm just going to make some dots. I just dip it in and see, it's a little wet yet. Yep, I got to dry it. It's got to take the color. Yeah, a bee would be really cute on it. Is it possible to get notified when you are going absolutely meg it's possible now usually i try and remember to send out a text message as long as it's before nine o'clock central standard time and i did but i don't have my text number right here is there anybody there that can um respond to her with my text number i don't remember what it is i'm sorry it's been so long since i've been on here live and i usually grab that too but yeah if you want um you can text so if somebody would you know has my text number would you please put that in there otherwise you can message me Megan I'll, I'll um, send you the text number and all you have to do is send a text saying hi or or you know whatever it, if you just say hi you'll be on my list okay and all I'm gonna do is just do a few of these in a few places You don't need a lot, I don't think. Maybe that's good. Liz, thanks so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Ruthie, thank you. There's the text number. So just send a text to that and just say hi or something. Thank you so much. 
Hello, Becky. It's okay that you're late. Everybody has lives. I've learned that. I've learned that. So that's why I haven't been able to get on lately. So probably the last month has not been good to, to try and get on here, which I was, I'm was. i so happy to see that so many came on. So I am doing two random act of kindness drawings at the end, so stick on. So this was that spiced orange. I'm just going to put a couple little cut little of that just just to add just a little extra color i don't think you need a lot that should be good and i'll show you and then i'm really done painting this now if you're going to put this outside i would really spray multiple coats of a good uh, clear acrylic sealer um, before you would put this outside but let me, I'm done painting, and then I'll show you the surface. If you're late, I did the surface at the beginning. Actually, I can lift this up now. Thank you. So that's, that was easy, right? And I did mine so rustic, but you don't have to do it rustic. All right, so we got that. Now let's get back to the surface. So at the beginning, I had three pieces. You can sort of see there were three pieces of this wood that I had, and I just glued them together, and then I added the shims too to the back and just glued them on just to keep it sturdy. And that's what this is going to go on, which I think is perfect, but we got to add a little something else to it. And again, the reason why I added black was because I was going to use this fabric. And I already ripped off three strips of it. Okay, so, and what I'm going to do is make three separate bows because, you know, when I use my raffia, I usually like make, just scrunch it together, but I would need so much in order to get it to come out all over the place. I'm going to do three smaller bows and we're going to incorporate this in each one. Thanks, Dana. A bee on the flower would be perfect, and I do have the bees here. And a button on my board would be perfect, and I didn't grab my buttons. How could I forget that? Oh, thanks, Kim. So that we're just making, we're going to make three. So let me grab, I've got some, this, and so, yeah, that burlap is what made me itch, and... I was working with this jute earlier too, and so it from it. Um, if you all don't follow me on Pinterest while we're talking, please go follow me on Pinterest and please comment and emojis and um, there's a heart emoji on there. It's a heart um, that you, it's like a like on here. Go follow me on there and that really helps. I'm trying to grow that. So. Um, trying to there's a new thing idea pins i've been working on them this last probably several months so all right and i'm just going to take and my page on there is crafty servings also just search for crafty servings thank you kim and honestly i think i'm going to go grab some of those bees when i put this together if y'all remind me all right so i'm just taking a probably about this much is probably all I need and I'm going to and we're gonna do three and it's gonna be maybe one more you remind me and I'll go grab a bee and a button if you I don't want you to see my pants <laughs> that's one of those nights again where <laughs> all right and I'm just gonna take one of those strips in and I'm gonna make I got a short one there I'm going to just make a big loop because I need it to be, I, I want one, one on one side and one on the other side. So it's a big loop. I'm going to put it together and then I'll actually, we're going to tie this, but then I'm actually going to tie it again. This will just hold it together. But then, so we got a little long. Then I'm going to do it again together like this also. So I'm going to just fold it in half and I'm going to do it again. And you'll see why when I get that put together. All right. 
and Lily said you had a surprise for us at Tilbury. You're going to do something different. I didn't say Paula. I and again when I start doing that, I I am totally. It's something that I love doing. Um, and but when I do it, I want to know what I'm doing. I want to know what I can offer you guys. Um, so. I need to be prepared to do it, and May just was not my month to do that. So, um, all right, so that's one. I am so excited, though, to do it. I just, I need time. I need, I, I need to make sure that I know what I'm doing and what I'm, what I'm saying. I know what I'm doing. I want to know what I'm saying, and I want to know that I can tell you guys the best things that you could do. So that will come soon, I hope. All right, so I'm, again, I'm making a mess with my raffia. I'm just gonna make another one of those. We're gonna add another one of these fabrics in. So I'm making I got some long here. I'm so I'm making three of these because I think that'll balance it out. Yes, I need it. I know I need be in a button, right? So again, I'm just gonna wrap a big circle here, make it like a bow. I am itching again. I'm just trying to get this other string out here. There I go. I might have to get up and go get that button and be sooner if I keep itching like I am. I just get such an itch. All right, and now I'm going to fold this again because I need I need this to be a little more together. Just the raffia. No, the raffia does not. It's this jute and it's the burlap. I cut burlap before I came on for in this circle that did it for me right away and then this jute does too but no raffia does not bother me i could use raffia all day it does not bother me at all all right so that's one that's two one more we gotta do <laughs> show, show you my pants <laughs> They're not characters or anything this time. They're just All right, yes, thank you for those that did a text number. I appreciate it and Meg appreciated it too. So just send a text say hi on there and I try and remember to send out text alerts before I go live. All right, and then we'll add that last one in here. We're just making like a big bow. See, it's just a big bow is what I'm doing. We are getting better, Linda. Thank you so much. Yeah, Cash has been missing the videos too. We are getting better. We, we're, we're definitely getting better, but um, we definitely have a lot I gotta get done now, like with work and stuff. And I work from home, but for during some of that time, but I'm just really, really behind. So tomorrow I'll work from 
home on my work and for some of the time. So that's been taking up a lot of my time that I'm not used to doing. I'm used to having my Mondays and Thursdays off to do this, and I haven't been really being able to do much on those days and, and work in some on those days. So, all right, but I will be back. Okay, so we've just got that. I gotta get this little bow out that guy got in there. I don't like that. Okay, let me show you how we're gonna put it together. I mean, they look, again, it looks funny, but I think you'll see as I put this together why I needed it messy like that and I needed it folded up. All right, and this will be the last, the last thing that I put on, but I need to, what I'm doing, I'm gonna use three of these. So the reason why it's folded is just to get that little bit of color out there and I'm going to stick it in there so you can see. And I'm going to do it, it's, it's like in thirds. See how that's going to look? <laughs> can you see that? That's how it's going to look. So I'm, okay, so I'm going to take this off. And we're just going to glue this down. Thanks for the hearts, Carla. Let's do this one here. It's just adding, and that's why I really added black to that flower also, was because that pulls this out. Yes, Sherry. Debbie, absolutely, family is first. Absolutely, always has been for me, always will be. Thank you, Teresa. I'm glad to be back too. I'm glad y'all came back on too with me. I really am. I was so afraid y'all would go away and not come back or that Facebook wouldn't let all of you see me because I haven't been on hardly at all. And it just, I just knew I had to do what I had to do. Aw, thank you, Dee. I appreciate it. What were the shims for? The shims are, okay, this was actually three pieces of wood. And I glued them together and then I put the shims just to support it, just to keep them together for sure. All right, so we got those three glued on there. Final thing is we're gonna glue this right on here like this. It's just going to add, and then we're going to just clean it a little bit, but I do want to spread this out a little bit too. All right, that's another thing. So I'm going to just spread this out. I'm going to a little spread out. I folded it, but I still would like some of this spread out. So I'm going to glue that out some. I believe he will, Kara. All right, so I'm just gonna spread this one out a little to add a little. Hot though, it's hot <laughs> when you stick your finger on it. It's hot. I haven't quit doing that. I have not quit doing that. Let's add a little under here. I should get my little paddle out. Paula sent me a paddle in, my, in a Happy Meal package and I used it and then I don't have it right now. Oh, thanks for all those hearts and stars. Oh, Tracy, thank you. Hi, Janice. Um, yes, um, so Janice, my dear hubby, had very, very um, major back surgery. So um, it was a lot, it, it, you know, and it was a lot of pain. It was a lot of, lot of to deal with after the pain and, and the recovery and just the bandage and just was, 
wasn't healing completely the way it should. So it wasn't nice. And like I said, the pain, you don't ever want to see loved ones in pain. You don't want to see anybody in pain. And that was the hardest part for me. So, but he's my all. So definitely you do that too, Michelle. All right. So I just spread that out so that we've got more of that surface. Okay. And then that's going to go right on there like that. So I'm just going to be putting, I'm just going to go through and put glue right on top up here because that's the highest point and I'm hoping that that's going to hold it. So I'm just going to sit here and talk to you guys for a minute and then I'll go see if I can find, I know where those bees are that, that I made. Hi Jerry, I hope you watched the replay. Hello Jane. Thank you, Meg. All is really good now. It's getting so good. So just a big difference every day, but still just a matter of making sure, you know, hoping it takes it easy. That's not easy for guys. All right. Okay. So I'm, okay, this is just, if you love rustic, you don't have to do it like this if you don't love rustic, but look at hanging out. Now, some of this, I'll trim a little of it. Some of it is a little wild. But I just, outside, just put it like outside, even lean in a flower bed, put a, a post on it. Let's just clean up. We're going to clean up a little more. And I'm going to go find one of those bees. I don't want this completely carried away. So we're going to clean up a little bit here. I think from a Dollar Tree mirror, this isn't too bad, right? Okay, so we got that. Let me, okay, let me go get very carefully. I know you saw them. They're camel. All right. Thank you. All right. So these are the bees if, um, and I actually ripped them off of something. So um, that if you hadn't seen me make them, I did, a, I did a, actually a, a live on them. I think I have a, something on a Pinterest showing how I do them. But aren't they just really, really cute? So these are ones I did with wood. The, um, I have some that were with yellow beads. I think I just need one of them though, maybe. I think this one will be cute. Let's see. You know, this thing you could flip any which way too. Okay. Just trying to see the best place to put it. Thank you, Renee. Thanks, Alan. I said, if you like rustic, it's rustic. And you started with a Dollar Tree mirror. I'm just peeling off, like I said, I, I threw away what this was on. I'm just trying to figure out the best place that I could put this bee. You know, maybe if I put it on there. Maybe I, what do you think? If I put it right there, I think that would work right there. This one's cuter. This one, I like how the wings stand out. 
Hello, darling. Awesome, Kathy. I know you like rustic. Thank you, Carla. All right. Let's put, I think I'm going to put, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to straighten out his antenna. was crooked there. There we go. I'll put him right there. And then we'll get a button on the project because we got to do a button, right? That on there. That was easy. I'm just gonna use that one. I just think it all. We need something. The bee's gonna fall off. I'll show you in a second. This finishes it. I'm telling you, if you don't use buttons, this finishes things. I think the bee is it here, and I think the button is in the center. Oh, I missed. Oh, so I did it in the center, not in the middle, middle center. It's not done without a button. It isn't. All right. What do you think? What do you think of the button up there? I think that's pretty cute. Look at the so look from the side so just something fun and rustic outside if you don't like it as messy you clean this up a little more I like that messy look you know I like rustic we got to clean a little but I like these hanging All right, so Dollar Tree mirror and any surface, any surface you can use for the background. I just put three boards together and glued them together and just glued shims on. That's all I did. The black is only because it was for a different project. It was not, you don't see it. So what do you think? All right, we're going to do random act of kindness. Two of them. I see more stars up there. Thank you so much. All right, let's do ran two random act of kindness because I appreciate y'all coming on. I had over 200 people on here. Let's, let's get done. All right, we're going to do just a little ways back here. Um, Kathy Randall Marin, Marin. I know I don't know how to pronounce the last name. I'm sorry. Private message me your mailing address. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. And let's go. We're going to go back way far. Way far. All right. We've got Janice Curatella Gaspari. Mail, email or message me your mailing address too. All right, I think I probably have it here, but uh, for both of you, but please private message me. It's a lot easier for me to find it. And we'll get you both some happy mail and then do a random act of kindness for someone. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rhonda. So that's what we got. I feel like I always have, I have this here, so that makes for a sloppy background. I have that and I try and get a background for you. But I just think it turned out cute. What do you think of the button? Does that add to it? Do you use buttons now? Thank you, Ruthie. You got to use the button. It just adds to it. All right. So thanks, everybody, for coming on tonight with me. That just makes me happy that y'all waited for me to come back. I appreciate it. I was sure missing y'all and I hope I'm going to be on really soon again. Y'all have a good week. Otherwise, if I can push this button. <laughs>